Happy Monday, everybody. It's Jenny. I wanted to make this quick recording because Pat had asked me to and because everyone on the team is kind of asking me to. So you guys are asking about the flip-flop method, the 10 pips and dip. Um, I think that we're going to call it the flip-flop and just kind of stick with that name for ease of recognition, maybe. Um, plus, it's cute and it's almost summer. So you guys should have all these settings already. We know that the ADX is set at 10. We know RSI is set at 10. Periboic SARS are set at 0 0.05 and 0.2. We have an 8 EMA, oh, let me get my mouse over it, if it wants to, there we go, an 18 EMA and a 50 EMA. Um, and that's, so we of course have our very, very helpful, super easy SR. So that's really all we're kind of using for this strategy. And all we're waiting for is a few confirmations. We're waiting for our momentum line and our buyers if we're buying or sellers if we're selling to be both pointing up and hopefully above the 2025 on the ADX. We're waiting for a break of the 50 RSI, and usually it'll retest. We wanna be in line with the previous support and resistant um, kind of super easy SR. We want our parabolic stars in the right direction across of our EMAs. And then all we're waiting for is for it to break the 50. When it breaks the 50, it'll typically retest. If it doesn't retest here, it retests down here. Um, but then we're just going for 10 pips. We do want this candle to close above the 50 EMA. Um, typically it'll come kind of come back down and retest. No guarantees on that. And you're only taking it for 10 pips. So your first option is to take the trade for 10 pips um, and just have it take profit and get out, which is really, really wise. If you have the time to sit in front of your computer, you can stay in this trade, provided that price stays above the eight EMA if you're buying and if it stays below the eight EMA if you're selling. And that's really all you would be looking for. Your stop loss would go, um, so if you're buying, the stop loss will go at your the first parabolic star. If you're selling, the stop loss will go above it, the first first parabolic star. So like if you took this one, even though you don't have the super easy SR, well, I'm assuming you did back here. Yep, see this would have been in line. That would have been this trade right here. So if you took that trade, that's where your stop loss would go. Let's see, your stop loss goes above this parabolic star. Your stop loss goes below it if you're buying. You can stay in it provided price stays on the other side of the eight moving average, or you can close at 10 pips. This straight trading strategy has like, give or take, by my account, I've got a 93% accuracy, but you guys know how I am with my rules. So that's mostly gonna be accountable to my rules. It's because I'm very, very picky. So if I don't think this looks good, I don't take it. If I don't like the direction that this is pointing when I go to get in, I'm not gonna take it, period. Um, so that's about it. Obviously, all these settings are available on your phone with the exception of the super easy SR. Um, as you know, Pat is in the process of creating a notification system for that. Um, but either way, even no matter how you look at it, that's, that's you can do this from your phone, um, but especially if you get really, really picky. I mean, a lot of people want to take this overbought, oversold mentality, and it's going to work for you. It's going to work so well, but then those, there's going to come a day when it doesn't work, and That'll be the day you never do overbought and oversold again, I promise. So we do want the confirmed trend move kind of on the other side of the 50 EMA and just kind of keep it simple. So I hope this answers your questions. Have a fantastic day and God bless.